Hello there, I'm Ethan, the head of support at OpenTrons. This is the second video in a series we are calling From Box to Protocol. Let's get started with unlocking the OT2. For unlocking the OT2, I will need the three millimeter hex, the two and a half millimeter hex screwdriver, the top window screws, and the top window, as well as the side panels. To prevent damage during shipping, the moving parts of the OT2 are locked into place with three locking brackets. I will need to remove the brackets before turning on the OT2 for the first time. If I try to turn on the OT2 when these brackets are not removed, the robot will not function properly. The first bracket is held on by four screws, two of which are found behind the pipette carriage. These screws can be accessed via the front door. I will use the three millimeter hex screw to remove these screws. Make sure to collect the nuts that fall out of the carriage. If no nuts fall out, I can always remove them with a hex screwdriver. I will remove the other two screws after the second bracket. The next bracket is held on by three screws located slightly above the pipette carriage. In order to remove this bracket and access the third screw, I will remove the two screws attached to the pipette carriage first. I'm going to move the pipette carriage to the other side of the OT2 for the time being. And I will unscrew the third screw from the Y rail. Now that the carriage is out of the way, the two screws for the first locking bracket are accessible. I will remove these two screws and the bracket on the frame now. The last locking bracket is the smallest. It is located on the left side of the robot opposite the trash at the intersection of the X and Y rails. Once this third and final bracket is removed, I will now install the top window and side panels on the OT2. To install the top window, I will need a 2.5 millimeter hex screwdriver, the windows that we set aside while unboxing the OT2, and the top window screws that were in the accessory box. I am now going to slide the window on top of the OT2. We need to take the screws out of the bag and make sure they have washers on them. Then screw the four screws into the corner holes of the OT2. The side panels have magnets on them and snap onto the pre-installed screws that hold the side windows in place. This concludes our video on unlocking the OT2. Thanks for checking out the second video in our From Box to Protocol series. Now that I have the OT2 unlocked, I can start to get to the fun stuff. In the upcoming videos, I'll be going through installing the app and attaching the OpenTrons pipettes.